I th- I think he he very much believed that it hadn't been done properly. Yeah. Uh, and and we kind of revisit some you know some footage from the past <laughs> where t- to be yeah, honest. Find that. So look up like um, Haka All Blacks nineteen sixties Haka. Well, look, I think you it was see these guys se- basically dancing away and was it seventy two against Wales or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, and no, it's not good. It, it's I mean. I'm, I remember seeing it in 78, 79 and thought it was amazing. So, right. uh, it, you know, it, to me it was amazing. But compared well, What do you the, think of watching it now? What do you think of that triangle that they've got with Kieran Reid at the front? What does it make you think and feel now? I think... I, I, I still think it's, it's amazing, but it feel it's very polished now. Right. It's, it, it's part of the theatre of the game, mm-hmm. I think. And people expect it. Uh, here you go. This it's is Grant Betty. There you yep. go. That's the one. And look, some of them won't. They have, they've never even learned it. Like that the guy, that dude in the middle, he doesn't know it. Oh, there's uh, BG Williams, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's not. It, it's it, basically what you would get, uh, you know, when um, the Kiwis are and in, they do it to the crowd. Are in an American pub, get drunk, or you know, they're in the mm. British pub and they're like a bunch of white drunk guys go, "Oh, I'll do the hucker because we won." And that's what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. The other thing, the other thing that's fascinating about the hucker is, um, I mean, even though I, I genuinely love it, like I feel like it's a part of my New Zealand, mm. is when I see like the tall blacks, the basketball players, or something doing, I'm just like, mm, it's not right. I've heard a couple of podcasts, heard Joe Rogan in America kind of taking the piss out of this thing that the, that this this little country in the South Pacific do this dance beforehand and. He just doesn't get it. Mm. But then again, when he talked about seeing the he talked about seeing the tall blacks doing it against the American basketball team, I kinda go, oh, I can kind of understand that a bit more. It just doesn't seem to have that same I don't know, maybe it's my culture being rugby is where it belongs. It feels it feels different having other teams do it. I, I'm assuming they were the sport the first sports team in New Zealand to ever do it. I guess so. I mean like So that they it's kind of theirs, they they owned it because they started it. And I mean, did anyone else do it? There have been some unbelievable ones. Jace, if you look up... Um, I, think, ha- I think I've got the one you probably want to... Hacker Response about. Wales. This one? Uh, not that one. There was, was This one, this, this one, I because I remember seeing this one myself live, and it was like, and I'm not a rugby guy, but this one, I was just like, holy crap. Right, I, think, I think this is, they walk up on the guys. So it's yeah. England? And this might have been the first time they did the alternate one. I can't remember what the name of it is. Though. Is that the World Cup? Okay, that's 2011. We'll skip through it. We can sit here and watch Hackers for the next hour if we do that. Because I've got one I want to play too. Just skip forward a little bit so we can see what English do. So this is Kapo Pango. Ali Williams. Oh, yep, yeah, cool. Do the, do, look up, look up um, All Blacks, and I think it was Wales, in Wales, Hucker response, best response ever. And what Wales did was, and I love this more than anything, um, because the Hucker is a challenge. It's a challenge. And the Welsh team, I'm pretty sure it was the Welsh team, then refused to leave the line. Yeah. Oh, and so yeah, the All the Blacks, yeah. the All Blacks were facing them, and the Welsh were facing them. The referee, the little referees running around going, okay, now back you go. And, and none of the teams would leave. And and I was doing talk back when that happened. Just skip to right near the end, Jace, because that's to show you the bit where they all finish. And um, so, a bit further, a bit further when they finish. So they finish. Yeah, this is it. It's brilliant. Look, all back same. And, his first task and I think that's perfect. There was the when that happened. There was a bunch of talk of Wales disrespect, and I'm like, actually, the Welsh have done the perfect thing. They've said, "This is our house. Mm. You've done your haka. Now you can leave the centre line." I mean, it is interesting because beautiful that was. I mean, they, they t- I mean, whether there are protocols w- when you are the receiving team. Oh, fuck it, it. That's their house. Yeah. I mean, if that's how but they it, want to respond, it's a okay. challenge. So you have to respond yeah. to the challenge. And yeah. for me, this this is... You hear referee um, blowing the whistle going, come on, lads. <laughs> come on, let's play rugby. <laughs> and they're like, nah. And eventually the All Blacks leave first. There you go. All Blacks are leaving, which means the Welsh responded and they said, mm. they're, they're, we accept your challenge. Now you turn your backs and walk away. Oh, I love that so much. That gives me chills just watching that little replay. <laughs> <laughs> you can see why I like the documentary. Because <laughs> yeah, like when, cause, you know, I'm not on the rugby guy, but just I'm, I'm a Kiwi. But, and I remember seeing the first, the, I think that, that moment there, the other video, when that first time they did, what was the alternate one called? 
and they they like it's Kamata and Kapo Pango. Yeah, and they, they, it was the first time they did it, and it was I think I was watching because it must have been it must have been like the semi finals for the 2011, 2011 yeah, World Cup. I think so. Mm. And I was at the pub watching it, and I was just like, because the crowd lost it mm. when they started. They're like, they're like, oh, it's something. It's a it's a different hucker because you know I think they'd announced that they were doing something different and all that sort of jazz, but it was different, and it was just like, wow. Mm. If they don't, because I think if the <coughs> I honestly believe, and I think I've said this to a few people, if the All Blacks were because I, th- I think some pl- countries have tried to do this. I could be wrong. Has stop them from doing the hacker, or say if you can do the hacker, we can do a Balsing Matilda or something. Um, <laughs> some of them do <laughs> that. And, and, and Australia, and do I think if the Matilda. All Blacks weren't allowed to do the hacker for some god knows why reason, I think they would actually be starting off on the back foot. They would actually they would, they would struggle because it's. I, I think so. It you're saying ma- it gives them an advantage. I think it actually. I think it, an advantage in that psychologically it, it gets them ready. Mm. It's, it's of the, course, it's, they listen to the music in their in their headphones before the game. They come out they're mentally prepared because they you know they have psychological coaches that coach mm. them about being mentally prepared as well as physically. If they don't do the hucker, they're they're probably going to. It'd be like running yeah. late to a meeting. You'll feel like you're starting on a back foot. You know. Yep. Yeah. Although although in saying that, I, I actually agree with that. In saying that, you know, every Super Rugby game they play, there's no hucker at the start, all that kind of stuff. But I know I can't remember which it is. We don't need to keep looking at huckers. But there's mm-hmm. been times where they have been not allowed and I remember there's a famous one where they did the hucker in the dressing room yeah and then they went out and did it yeah and I can't remember which game it was but so they still did the hucker mm. they just didn't, didn't, didn't do it on the field